it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and pass the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, you work with a video rendering application that publishes small tasks as messages for cloud PubSub topics. You need to deploy the application that will execute these tasks on multiple virtual machines or VMs. Each task takes less than one hour to complete. The rendering is expected to be completed within a month. You need to minimize rendering costs. What should you do? There are quite a few pieces of interesting information there. And let's go directly into the requirement analysis. Small tasks as messages. So these are not continuous tasks. Right? A request will come in for some rendering work and then you do that and dissolve. So we occasionally need VMs. When the message comes, bring up VM, do the rendering and then you can shut it down. Execute these tasks on multiple VMs. We will need many VMs that come and go. We are combining the previous requirement and this. An ideal situation would be to have the VM scale based on requirement. If there are a lot of these messages and a lot of rendering work, bring up more VMs. And if that reduces, we just shut down those VMs. Each task takes less than one hour. So this is reasonably short periods of time at a stretch for rendering kind of work. Note that this is way less than 24 hours. This will become important later. The rendering is expected to be completed within a month. So again, we need the VMs for way less than a year. That number again becomes important later. The goal is to minimize the rendering costs. So time or effort is less of a consideration in this case. If there was an option that required more time to get this done or more effort, that would be fine as long as our goal of reducing cost is met. With those requirements understood, let's move on to the options. Option A suggests Deploy the application as a managed instance group. Now, using a managed instance group allows us to automatically scale VMs based on load. We identified this as a solution we would like to have in the requirement analysis. So as and when these messages come up with the rendering work uh, required, we bring up a VM and then shut it down after that. The managed instance group is perfect for that kind of work. In fact, using a managed instance group suits all our requirements. We will have multiple VMs as part of that instance group. We'll only pay for what we use. We use it and then the managed instance group can shut it down, thus lowering cost also for us. So option A is a very good option that suits all our requirements. But still early on, we haven't seen all the other options. So let's keep this as a good option, but um, not immediately uh, take the option and go to the next question. Let's look at every single option. Option B suggests deploy the application as a managed instance group, which is similar to the previous option. But additionally, configure committed use discount for the amount of CPU and memory required. This would be fairly good if we knew that we would be using all those VMs for at least a year because a committed use contract is a year or three years. Since we're using it only for a month, to get into a committed use discount contract would be extremely wasteful, right? For the remaining 11 months, we're not going to do anything with this and that's money down the drain. So option B does not work for us and we'll eliminate that. Option B recommends that we deploy the application as a managed instance group with preemptible VMs and then configure a committed use discount for the amount of CPU and memory required. Now, this also sounds like a very good option. When we're using preemptible instances, we can get a cost reduction of up to 70% or more. Moreover, we can, if we could combine the Managed instance group and the preemptible VMs, it means that 
it is going to scale based on requirement it will scale up or scale down but even within those the machines that will be used if possible will be preemptible vms so will not only really follow load but will also have low cost so this would be a brilliant option if it worked however it does not because you can't combine preemptible instances with committed use discount preemptible instance does not qualify for committed user uh, committed use discount so option d is not available for us because of that and we will eliminate option d option c suggests that we deploy the application as a managed instance group with preemptible vms this now combines all the good things that we wanted the preemptible vms gives us a solid discount because preemptible vms last for a maximum of 24 hours this works perfectly fine for us because our task is going to take only 1 hour to complete per render in addition to that because we are using a managed instance group it will scale as required and we'll only pay for what we use so looking at all of this the best option we have for this requirement is to deploy the application as a managed instance group with preemptible vms now it's time to subscribe to all the great content we've got lined up for you to learn google cloud and to help you with the certifications mm -hmm.